Okay, if you guys have a two-door Bronco, you know the struggle is real with securing all of your cargo. Not a lot of space, not a lot of ways to tie cargo down. This is our solution to that. This is our two-door Bronco mass cargo platform. It installs into all factory holes, takes about 30 minutes to install, so let's get started. Okay, the first thing we want to do is remove our stock cargo cubby cover. So this is the carpeted cover that's in the back here. Pretty simple to remove. All you want to do is take a pocket knife or a small screwdriver. You're just going to pry these open right at the end. That reveals your bolts down below. So they're a 10 millimeter head. So we'll go ahead and pull all of those out. All right, once those are out of the way, you can completely remove this cover here. Okay, the next thing we wanna do is lay out our support rails in the back of the Bronco. And this is the orientation that you wanna lay these out in. This is the way they'll be installed. Uh, and it just helps to kind of orientate yourself with it, make sure everything's right. There's a couple of things you wanna notice. So this is your frontmost rail. And when I say front, I'm talking vehicle direction front. So the way you wanna lay this one out, if you notice these two holes here in the center, need to be closer to you than the back holes. So imagine there's an arrow pointing toward you. That's the way this one needs to be laid out. The next thing you'll notice, the side rails are not necessarily level when you look at them. So the Bronco's floor has a downward slope to the rear. So to counteract some of that, we actually elevate the rear part of this rail. So the rear of the rail goes toward you in the, in the back of the vehicle and is elevated from the front. So the next thing to notice, there's a little round notch in the back, and this is for our attachment bolt that bolts it to the floor. These notches need to be inboard. So if you'll notice, the opposite side over here is just a direct mirror of the passenger side. This notch is also inboard. And that just ensures that everything lines up with the floor when you get ready to install it. So what we're gonna do now, we're basically gonna put our side bolts in and connect all these rails together. And we'll wanna go ahead and tighten those down because we won't have access to these bolts uh, once we put the plates on. So yeah, let's do that. Okay, all we do to attach the outer rails to the inner rails is use our button head bolts here. So we'll come in through the rail, just like that, and go in to the center rail. We can turn these upside down to install the hardware. We'll turn them right back when we tighten it up, but for now they can stay upside down. final assembly upside down. These nuts and bolts don't need to be super tight. They have nylock fasteners in them, so they're not gonna vibrate loose. We also will need to rotate them just slightly once to turn it back over to ensure that everything is flush on the top for the top plates. Now that everything is snugged up, we'll go ahead and pull this out and turn it back over to the proper orientation. All right, once it's in, you can see the holes below. So you can line up our slots with the holes that were previously used for the, uh, the little tie down hooks. So for this step, we're gonna use our M8 button head bolts. You install those with a five millimeter Allen wrench. When you're installing these, it's a lot easier if you'll pick up the corner of the platform just a little bit, let the bolt hang down. That way it can kind of find its home. All right, once all the bolts are in, we'll give it one last little alignment, make sure everything is not in a binding state. You just want to try to center it up a little bit. We intentionally leave a little bit of play around the bolt holes. Uh, all the vehicles are slightly different, so this amount of play gives us some adjustment to make sure it's right. So. Once that's good, go ahead and tighten all four of the bolts down. So for our final tightening of all these bolts, I always like to do it with a ratchet, just so you have a little bit better feel, make sure everything's nice and tight. 
All right, now that everything's tight with our mounting bolts, we'll go ahead and grab our top cargo plates and bring those over, get those installed. Okay, so now it's time to install the real magic of this system. So these are what we call nut plates. So if you notice, they're cold rolled steel and they're tapped. So these hold your threads to allow you to attach all of your accessories to it. It's nothing to wear out, doesn't add much weight. Real happy with the way this works out. So what we're gonna do, this one here is laid out the way you'll install it. What we're gonna do is turn this one over and these get installed from the bottom side. But this is the layout that you'll use. The one thing you will notice, uh, one of these has an arrow on it. That arrow needs to point toward the front. So you see that arrow right here. So this same one on this side will also point toward the vehicle front as well. All right, so all that I'm doing when I turn these over, I'm taking our countersink bolts and I'm lining them up with the countersink sections here. So if you notice, the, the attachment hole is actually in the center between these two. So we use these flathead bolts and the countersink to keep the surface clear so you can slide things over the top. All right, now that we have all the plates secured to the bottom, we can turn it back over and install the rest of the fasteners. All right, now we'll just repeat that same process for the opposite side. All right, now that you have your nut plates installed, the next thing you wanna do is install the brackets for the access doors. So they'll go in like this. The, the steel piece goes on the very bottom. That's when our magnets stick to. Then we'll do our spacers on top of that. That gives us the proper offset for our doors. And then our door will go on top of that. So let's start by installing our spacers and our steel plates. So if you'll notice in these plates, there's one notch cut out of each one of them. So that's gonna line up with our uh, nut plate that we have on the bottom. So your opposite spacer, uh, they also have a notch in them. They're all the same part. There is not a nut plate to line up with over here. So we just put that, that notch to the outside. So the next thing we want to do is set our magnets. So the way I usually like to do this, we'll take our alcohol wipe and wipe off both sides of both surfaces. So it's very important when you're doing this to make sure you get all the oils off your fingers as well. So you can take that alcohol wipe and wipe the tips of your fingers off. That'll keep from getting oil all over everything. And so we also want to make sure that we clean the side of the magnet right before we put the stick, the adhesive on it. That'll ensure that we don't get any oil on the magnet as well. You can stick those on top of the bolts. It'll hold them in place as you're applying the adhesive. So now to make sure these are lined up properly, I like to go ahead and stick them to the steel and then you can scoot them sort of out close to the edge. So make sure when you align the magnets that you don't let them go all the way to the outsides. That way you have some movement to make sure you get that perfectly aligned after you install it. There you go, that's all there is to that.
that's all the installation we're going to do outside of the vehicle. So now we'll take these back to the Bronco and install them onto our support rails. All right, so now's the fun part. Get to install all the flathead bolts. Okay, so that concludes the installation of our two-door mass cargo platform. And you might be asking yourself, well, now what do I do with all these threaded holes? Well, one, you can install all the modules that we make. So anywhere from slides to drawers to uh, rack systems, all that type of thing can all be installed directly on top of the platform. But you can also use what we call a cargo loop. And this guy uses a little thumb screw and you can install this in any of those threaded locations. So they can all be tie down points. So if you have a specific basket or box you want to carry, you can leave these in there and that way you can run straps or bungees across that, keep everything nice and secure. Thank you again for watching the installation. Make sure you follow along and check back. We have a lot more products coming for the two-door Bronco and uh, can't wait to show them off.